to another video, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we call disturbing, accurately framed on the screen. If an 11 year old boy knows that this is wrong, how is it that these adults sitting around this table think it's okay? His father taught him well. Let me just put it that way. Kudos to that young man, and I pray and hope for good things for him because he's starting off on a good path. Let's hope he keeps it up. Let me let you listen for yourself. You tell me. As I said, 11 years old. It's right here on your screen. Hi, my name's Knox A. Jack. Uh, I'm 11 years old, and I go to Wyndham Middle School. I'm a sixth grader. I was in the library, and this book was on a stand. I'd like to read you a page. My back over my hips as I ask if we should take off, take our clothes off. And he's saying yes before I finish my sentence. He's pulling off my t-shirt, laughing when I can't undo his shirt buttons. He's undoing my belt. I'm reaching into his bedside drawer for a condom. We're kissing again. We're rolling over. Obviously, you can see where this is going. I don't know if it's because we're feeling especially emotional or just tired or these past couple of weeks have been too much but this reminds me so much of the first time we had sex we were both fucking terrified and the whole thing was kind of terrible because we didn't know what we were doing but it was good too so good because we were a mess of emotions and we were scared and excited and everything felt new so this sort of thing this sort of feels like that nick touches me like he's scared that any minute. Now this book was at my middle school and it was on a stand. When I rented it out to show my dad it, uh, the librarian asked if I wanted more and if I wanted a graphic novel version. So he comes upon this book, sees it, is disturbed by what he's reading, decides to take it out so he could show it to his father. Now, this is a very important point. You have to let your children know that when there's things that bother them, whether it be a person in school, a bully, an adult um, material that they come across, they have to show it to you as their parents, and you have to make a determination on what steps you're going to take. I know how it is, you know, we live in a capitalist society, everybody has to work, people have jobs, people have obligations. However, first and foremost obligation as a parent is your children. All these other things that you're doing for them to provide for them, that is fine, that is all good and well. But these sort of situations, they have to be addressed. And trust me, I am coming from a place of knowledge. I've had to deal with it um for at least the last 15 years particularly with my my second son who is about to be 15. all right there's all these situations you know that happen in school you either have to take time off from work or go in before you start work change your shift all these things yeah it gets complicated but it has to be done it has to be because you want that child growing up, how you yourself came up or better, you know, giving them all the information that made you the kind of parent you are. That is not the school's responsibility. The school's responsibility is simply to give them the proper tools that you do not have the time for to be at home, making sure they do their reading, their writing, their arithmetic, geography, science, etc. Right? You have a job, you're busy, understood, fine. That's where the school comes in, right? To give them this baseline education. Everything else regarding how they are brought up, it's on you as a parent. Here's the dad. Oh, boy. So I'm... That kid's oh, gonna, father. Okay, good. I was asking for you. Yeah, I'll take another three minutes. So that's my son. 
okay. 11 years old and went to his library and found that by the entry door of our library, this is the smut that he is finding, all right? I don't care whether it's gay, straight, bisexual, whatever the terms are for all this stuff, doesn't need to be at our school doesn't need to be at my 11 year old's library and then as far as gender queer i've got a son in the high school as well and this is bullshit we know it, all right we do not need bullshit. to be having literature that's showing boys how to suck dick all right this is i'm very very frustrated about it okay and you may think that schools know the best for our children you know who know the best for our children the parents and if you remember this, I was here last year talking. As I said, it is on you as the parent. It's on you. If you allow it to go on unfettered, meaning, you know, you don't chain the situation up and, hey, we got to put the brakes on this. We, we got to throw a monkey wrench in this plan. Right. Whether you have to speak to if it's something that's school wide, you have to speak to other parents, you have to attend the meetings, you have to stand up and speak out. This is what I was talking about a few videos ago. I would say maybe three videos ago. And please make sure you check my other material as well, because sometimes somebody might see something new of mine. They might feel like, oh, you know, it's a new talking point. No, I've been on this subject. Just look back. You'll see for yourself. But you have to address it. You absolutely have to. If you don't, you're part of the problem. You cannot, and when I say bystander effect, you cannot assume that, okay, you know, I'm not going to say anything, but I'm pretty sure somebody else is going to say something. That's what the bystander effect is. But that person is thinking, hey, you know what? I'm not going to say anything, but I think somebody else might say something. And it goes on. Everybody is standing by watching what's happening, assuming somebody else is going to take action. Somebody else is going to do something. And in that video, I had also mentioned the Milgram experiment. Right? Let's say you have a room full of these people with little machines in their hand and all of them being told, hey, you got to press this button on this machine and it's going to deliver a shock to somebody else. And every minute or so, we're going to up the voltage and you have to deliver a shock. Now, whoever that authority figure is, in this case, the school board, right, and the higher-ups, is saying, yeah, this is what you have to do. And everybody's like pressing the button, pressing the button, pressing the button. Hearing people screaming, but because this higher-up said, oh, you have to do it, press the button. Ah! Increase the voltage, press the button. And they kept on doing it. Nobody's thinking to themselves, hey, you know what? This is batshit crazy. I'm not pressing this button. This man could be getting third degree burns or woman. Uh, no, I'm not doing it anymore. It is time to think outside the box. It is time to make your voice heard. The other side who are pushing these books, they've already made their voice heard. And this is a small group of radicals, as I posted in the, um, what was it, the video with this man, what was his, his, Leatherwood, I think was his name, he's a member of GAG. As he said, it is a small fringe radical group, but they're making these broad scale decisions for the masses, without our permission, mind you. This is why it's important to make sure you share these kinds of videos, like them so that the algorithm understands, you know what, we have, people actually want to see this. People are actually concerned about their children. People don't want their children being raised by the system in a way that they're not comfortable with or a way that they don't feel appropriate. You have to do something before it's too late. You can start by sharing the content and liking it. Obviously, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.